So as we sit here together for a few moments, I invite you to just completely relax and you know if you just uh, you just imagine life, this life, this existence that's here as a Let's, let's say that it's substances like clay, we'll just use that example, and that that's the sort of the, the basic nature of life is this, that's its, its, its base is this clay and the clay of life, if you will, can assume it can take on just about any form or shape, right? Life can shape itself in all the ways that life seems to shape itself as the array of phenomena that are encountered, right? All the things we call experiences and events and circumstances. All of these represent the, the different ways that the clay of life can shape itself, can form itself, can appear. But the key thing to notice, and let's just notice that now, that no matter the shape or form, the clay of life is, seems to be taking on right now, it remains itself, it remains life. In this sense, all that appears, all the phenomena that are encountered, being encountered, right now, of course, which is the only time phenomena are being encountered. But this constant, all the distinctness of the shapes and forms that life can assume are fundamentally equal. Equal in the sense of all being made of whatever this is made of. We could call it life. What life is made of is can't really say what here is made of, what the presence of this is made of is unthinkable, un, ungraspable. But recognizing that all the forms and shapes and ways this can appear, that this remains what it is, whatever that is, this remains life, this remains existence, this remains a base, the basis of reality, just cuts through the tendency we have, the, the conditioned habit of orienting to all of this in a more um, hierarchical kind of way in the sense of it's, it's not only that distinctions are being made, but we're through the way we define and try to describe all these different shapes and forms, we also create these hierarchies. And so we have this tendency to be, when it comes to searching for whatever it is we're, we may be searching for in life, we invariably end up trying to do something about the forms this is taking in order to arrive at our desired destination, whatever it is we're searching for. But, but recognizing that from the vantage of everything is this flow of life, everything is, is the emanation of this basic reality, just shaping itself into different versions of itself in a sense. In the same way that clay can be shaped in an infinite number of ways, but always remain clay, life can shape itself in an infinite number of ways and appears to do just that. And yet it is always life from that vantage, 
we can just simply relax because there's no need to transform the shape of this moment to make it more life. It already is life. It already is the basic state of everything. It, it, it all is already absolute reality, if you want to call it that. It, it, it is already God, if you want to call it that. So we can just completely relax. We don't have to modify what's here. We don't have to find anything in particular because everything that we happen upon, everything that attention brings forth in a sense, is it, is the way life looks, appears to look in that moment. But it's always life, it's always reality, it's always existence. So we can com completely relax. We don't have to strategize to figure out how to get ourselves into it or make it appear, do something to bring it forth. It is being brought forth as everything, as every instant. Just this unending flow of life appearing as everything, appearing as each instant. We don't have to correct the moment. There's, we don't have to pull our way, ourself away from anything being experienced. Nothing is a, an obstacle, nothing is a distraction from seeing this because all there is is seeing this. All there is is seeing. Whatever's being seen is seeing this. It would appear that it's, it's the nature of reality, the nature of life is to be constantly modifying itself, transforming itself, but always remaining itself through all of its apparent transformations and modifications. So we can completely relax because here it is. There's actually nothing we can do to remove ourselves from it. <laughs> There's nothing we can do to distract ourselves from it, actually. There's no way to actually miss it. we imagine, oh, we're noticing something other than this. <laughs> what are we noticing? We're noticing this because whatever's being noticed is, is it. This is why we can't miss it. You can't miss the only thing that exists. <laughs> That's not possible, right? So regardless of the form it appears to be taking and the way in which that may be being described, it doesn't matter. That's it. Which again is why you can completely relax. Because you don't have to do anything to make this be what it is. It's being what it is. It's being itself. It's being life. It's being reality. It's being consciousness. It's being the, the shining, the emanating, the, 
the creativity of this moment, the creation of this moment. It, it's just happening, isn't it? Spontaneously. So no effort is required. We don't have to do something to get ourselves to some other destination, some other experience, some other moment, some other better perception, some better seeing, some clearer seeing, some more awakened seeing. This is the clear seeing. The moment appears in perfect clarity, doesn't it? The appearance is the perfect clarity. The appearance of the moment is clarity. This is the clarity of, of what's here. Maybe it's being described and experienced in some ways as exhaustion, confusion, disappointment. appearing in perfect clarity as all of those descriptions, just as a moment of contentment and insight and harmony, those, those states that we tend to prefer, those appear in perfect clarity as well, everything appearing in perfect clarity. Again, so Clarity need not be efforted towards or sought after. It is simply the case, simply the case. the incredible presence, the force and power that's here, generating this, being this, appearing as this, exploding as this instant, flashing forth, shining forth as this instant is simply here, isn't it? It's just, it requires no effort again. So we can just completely relax and just enjoy that, the miracle of that, the power of that, the potency of that, the openness of that, the, the indescribability of that, the constant flow of that, the dynamism of, of what's here, the ungraspable nature of it, ungraspable in the sense of it's ever slipping away, elusive, in its ever morphing dynamism and yet relentlessly here and present and just bam, right here. There's no escaping this, no departing from this, no avoiding this, no possibility of being removed from this because this shines forth as everything that's here.
And so from that vantage, every experience is literally it. Every experience is its expression, its emanation, its creation. <laughs> 